The opioid crisis only gets worse all across the Central Coast. One county is looking to partner with federal agents to help fight the problem. More on that part of the story from Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez, live right now in Salinas. Felix? Well, Dan, the Monterey County District Attorney's Office said they, along with doctors and law enforcement, uh, other law enforcement agencies, are in talks with the U.S. Attorney General's Office's Office on the possibility of forming a joint task force to combat the opioid crisis. Federal agents now turning to Monterey County doctors and leaders to help combat the growing opioid crisis on the Central Coast. We're really trying to attack it in every way we can. A problem that's only getting worse in Monterey County. 37 people overdosed from opioids in 2019, 93 last year, 2021 could be worse. The information we do have is that we're actually um, going to exceed that this year. That's my estimation. I don't know and I certainly hope I'm wrong, but with what I see so far, I think that's where we're headed. This week, federal agents with the Department of Justice and Attorney General's Office met with members of the Monterey County Prescribe Safe Initiative. The feds now offering to step in with resources and ideas with the focus on services rather than the crime. On how we want to make sure that our the people that are using, the people that are overdosing, the people that are selling because of their own addiction, how do we get those people into recovery? Because if you decrease demand, then we're also going to make a big difference on the drug supply. Monterey County prosecutors say federal agents are thinking of forming a joint task force to investigate overdose deaths. Crimes prosecuted by federal prosecutors could bring stiffer sentences. I think any time you have an epidemic like this, a single message, a forceful message, a nationwide message is really important. Now, this partnership is in the initial stages, but the partnership not ending with the feds. Local doctors also reaching out to local educators in hopes of increasing youth outreach about the dangers of opioids. Dan, Aaron.